The deal for The Rock to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania was made weeks before Cody Rhodes won the Royal Rumble. The Rock was appointed to the TKO Board of Directors last month. As part of the deal, he was given full ownership of The Rock name as well as $30 million worth of company stock. Our own Dave Meltzer noted on Wrestling Observer Radio that The Rock wrestling Roman Reigns at WrestleMania was also part of the agreement, saying, When Rock made the deal on January 3rd to come in, facing Roman at WrestleMania was part of the deal. Why Cody Rhodes won the Royal Rumble is a question that I cannot answer because nobody will answer it for me. Outside of Nick Khan and Ari Emanuel, very few people, if any, were made aware that a deal had been made for Rock to face Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. The belief backstage at the Royal Rumble was that it would be Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns. The negative reaction to Cody Rhodes being removed from the WrestleMania main event is something WWE now plans on turning into part of the story. Meltzer continued to say, It played out the way they wanted it to play out. The plan as of Friday night was Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes, and we'll see how it plays out because now they're trying to turn it into a story, and we'll see how that story goes. WWE does plan on having Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns somewhere down the line, but the match is not currently planned for WrestleMania. Meltzer wrote, like Cody said, they're going to do that Cody Rhodes match, just not this year at WrestleMania, unless they change and do it this year at WrestleMania. Everything's up in the air. Nothing is locked in stone. Our own Brian Alvarez asked Meltzer if WWE was expecting the backlash that they received. Meltzer responded, I don't know what they were expecting, but they were expecting Cody Rhodes to turn into Daniel Bryan. They were expecting to make Cody Rhodes into a martyr and make him a bigger baby face out of that. Were they expecting people to boo Dwayne? I don't know because I've asked that one and haven't gotten a straight answer. Meltzer continued to say that WWE might not care if fans reject Roman Reigns versus The Rock. Writing, I don't know how much they care because they're going to be getting more eyeballs for this match than any match they've ever had. They're going to have more sponsorship revenue based on the fact Dwayne's wrestling than any match they've had. So they may go in there and just go, let them boo. It's the biggest money match that we can ever make and that's the match that we're going to make. Cody Rhodes took to X to respond to recent backlash regarding WrestleMania 40 in which he wrote, Appreciate the passion. God bless y'all, but trust me. Fans have voiced their disapproval since an angle that took place on Friday SmackDown between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes told Roman that he would be coming after him, but not at WrestleMania. It was at that moment that The Rock came out, shaking hands with Rhodes as he entered the ring. The show closed with The Rock and Roman Reigns having a stare down. During Raw, chants of We Want Cody and Rocky Sucks could be heard during the opening promo between Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. Mike Michael Cole acknowledged the chance, asking if it was 1996 again. After Rollins asked Cody Rhodes to confirm their match for WrestleMania, Drew McIntyre came to the ring and said it was him who should face Rollins at WrestleMania. After Rollins balked at the idea, McIntyre attacked Rollins, leading Cody to make the save, never giving his answer. WWE will be holding a press conference at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas this Thursday, February 8th at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Announced for that press conference includes Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Roman Reigns, Triple H, Seth Rollins, Rhea Ripley, Cody Rhodes, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, and Montez Ford. Additionally, WWE continues to separate themselves from Brock Lesnar. New footage of WWE 2K24 was released on Tuesday, and many fans noticed that Brock had been removed from promotional materials related to the upcoming video game. Brock Lesnar had appeared on the cover of the 40 Years of WrestleMania edition, but appears to have been replaced with a larger image of John Cena. Wrestling video game site The SmackDown Hotel posted before and after images of the special edition cover. It's not clear if Brock will be removed from the game itself as well. It is scheduled to be released on March 5th for pre-orders and March 8th after that. Lesnar's removal from the cover is the latest in a series of moves by WWE to distance the company from him following allegations related to Janelle Grant's lawsuit against WWE, Vince McMahon, and John Laurinaitis. 
He was completely removed from 2K Supercard Mobile Game and his merchandise at WWEShop.com has been discontinued. Lesnar's bile still appears on WWE.com. However, Vince McMahon's has been removed. CM Punk says that his comeback will be the greatest of all time. New comments from CM Punk aired in a vignette on Monday's WWE Raw in the aftermath of the star's surgery last week to repair a torn right tricep suffered in the Royal Rumble match on January 27th. CM Punk promised that his return from the injury setback would be the greatest of all time. The video showed Punk going into and coming out of surgery and included Punk struggling with the zipper on a backpack, to which he said that simple tasks like this are the most frustrating. Punk also spoke about the mental aspect of the injury rehab being more difficult than the physical pain he is in. Saying, I'm in a lot of pain, it's mental more than anything. I can handle pain, I can power through hard physical therapy. The mental aspect of it, I think, is a lot harder than the physical. The triceps tear is the latest in a series of serious injuries suffered by CM Punk, including a torn left triceps at AEW All Out in September 2022 and a broken foot suffered in June 2022 on an AEW Dynamite show. Rhea Ripley will defend the WWE Women's World Championship against Nia Jax at Elimination Chamber. The title match for February 24th was made official during Monday's Raw in an angle where Rhea Ripley demanded the match from Raw GM Adam Pearce. Nia Jax then attacked Ripley and hit her annihilator finish to leave the champion lane. Another bout was officially announced for Elimination Chamber on Monday, as a women's chamber match at the event will decide the women's world title challenger for WrestleMania 40. Becky Lynch became the first star to qualify for that contest with a win over Shayna Baszler. Liv Morgan will take on Zoe Stark in another qualifying match on next week's episode. DIY's Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa also came one step closer to challenging for the undisputed tag team titles at Elimination Chamber. With a win in a four-way match on Raw, they will now face Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate on SmackDown to decide which team will challenge Finn Balor and Damian Priest for the titles in Perth, Australia at Elimination Chamber.